Hello guys, welcome back. So this is the last class for the uh, course level one, the basics of uh, technical analysis. And in this class, I'm going to talk about a few trading rules, very basic trading rules um, that you should never forget. So the first one is your trading portfolio should not be more than 10 to 15% of your capital. So let's, let's say, for example, you have $10,000. Uh, that's all your money, all, your, the, all the money that you have in your bank account, it's $10,000. Uh, the right way to do it, it'd be you put $1,000 or $1,500 into your trading account and the other 85 or 90 percent, you can put another 10 percent, for example, as a long term investment. You could buy, for example, some projects that you think that are very good projects and are going to be uh, and are going to do very well in the long term. Maybe you put another, you know, 10 percent. Uh, so that would be another one thousand dollars or one thousand and a half for long-term investments uh, it doesn't have to be crypto you know it could be stocks it could be any other investment uh, and then maybe put another 10 percent into another different industry for example uh, in the into the real real estate industry or some other industry and then the rest you keep the cash you you should always have some cash like enough cash to live you know, for whatever uh, length of time makes you feel comfortable, maybe have enough money to live for two years uh, without having to worry. Even if your investments go bad, really bad, you have enough cash to survive, you know, or to live um, up to your standards or to your expectations uh, to live for some period of time, one year, two, year, what, two years, whatever is uh, comfortable for you. Uh, then the second rule is you should not invest more than one to three percent of your trading portfolio in one single name or in one single trade. If you're trading, uh, I mean, this can be applied for any market, but I know this website and this YouTube channel, uh, it's focused for cryptocurrency markets. So uh, there's a lot of new people in the cryptocurrency space that have never traded before. So uh, this is even more important for, you know, for beginners and new people that's uh, uh, just coming into the investing and trading uh, space right now. So uh, the reason why you should never invest more than one to three percent of your trading portfolio in one single trade, uh, it's because say for example your trading account is one thousand dollars but this is valid for any amount of money because we're talking percentages here so it can be one hundred dollars it can be one thousand dollars ten thousand one million it doesn't really matter but let's say uh for the example you have one thousand dollars in your trading portfolio if you invest uh sorry if you use uh the average between one and three is two. Okay, so let's say you uh, you uh, you put two percent of your trading account into one specific trade every time you trade, you can lose up to fifty times before liquidating your account. So fifty times, fifty losing trades. It's nothing crazy for a beginner. It's nothing crazy. So. That's why you should uh, not put more than this because you, first of all, even if you're a professional, uh, even professional traders are going to lose trades many, many times in a row, sometimes. So in the long term, a good trader will, uh, will win 60 to 70 percent of the time. So it means just the normal, just, is, this is just part of the game. A good analyst a good trader will use three times out of ten or sometimes four times out of ten but it doesn't mean every ten times they will lose four and then they will win you know another six and then lose four no it doesn't go like this it they might win uh 100 trades in a row and then they might lose 50 trades in a row. That's nothing crazy. That happens all the time, all the time. So you, th that's why you don't want to invest more than uh, one to three percent in one single position, because that gives you room to lose 50 times in a row, which is, as I said, nothing crazy uh, before you lose your money completely. Now, of course, 
you know, even if you lose 50 trades in a row, you probably not going to liquidate your entire account because I mean, even if you lose the trade, unless you let it go down to zero, which I don't think any market will go down to zero, you know, anytime soon, it can correct whatever 50, 60%. But if it corrects 80%, that's a lot. I mean, that's losing almost all, all your money. If you if you lose leverage, even if it's only two times, if, even if it's only 2x leverage, you can very easily liquidate your entire account. You know, even if you invest only one to 3% in each trade, if you use leverage, you can liquidate your account with 10 or 15 bad trades, which is not crazy again for a beginner. That's why you wanna be very conservative you know, and only put in one single trade an average of a 2% uh, of your entire trading account. I hope this is clear. Another basic rule which many, many people fails to, to do, to follow, is don't fight the trend. Don't expect or hope the trend will reverse. If you have been going long because we've been in a bull market for some time and now we are going down we are very clearly in a downtrend we have been for a long time don't expect this trend to change and go up you know instead like many many people is looking for long entries to buy dips and where is where where's the dip so i can buy it and 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 continue to make, make money in the upside no guys you shorted you can make as much money going up uh like going down you can short the, the market don't hope or expect the trend to change direction for you because it won't happen instead short the market look for short position short selling is nothing you know it's just like going long all you have to do is straight the downside and then you won't be hoping for the trend to reverse for you because it's not gonna happen just because you hope it or expect it or because you're used to it no um don't fight the trend go long when it goes up and go short when it goes down and if you don't want to go short because you don't know how to do it or because it's not allowed uh, in your um, in the specific exchange that you're using then oh well you know too bad then you have to be away from the market or learn how to short because you can short in whatever country you are there's accounts there's exchanges there's always places where you can short you learn the process you you know you open an account in an exchange where you can short or just stay away from the market but stop hoping stop buying dips during downtrends i mean i'm not saying not to buy any dip you can still go long here but that's not the point of the rule you can go long see we've been going long here uh you know you can make money uh going long in downtrends especially in crypto because it's very very volatile so the percentage of gains you can make going long in that in downtrends are amazing like it's like that's usually not possible in regular markets but what i mean is don't buy the dip and hold hoping or expecting that was the bottom and from here we're going higher and breaking the all-time highs and we are bullish no if there's no confirmations of a trend reversal and confirmations that we are back into a bull trend then you just don't expect and you don't obsessively look for long entries just you need to change your mindset in that don't look desperate for the best way to go long or to buy the dip instead of using all your energy in trying to find the deep the real deep and expecting the trend to go up use that energy to learn how to short the market and go with the flow follow the trend instead of fighting it use all that energy that you you know that many people is putting into finding dips to go long Use that energy to actually learn to short the market and you will make a lot more money and you will be a lot less stressed. Hopefully this, uh, this concept is clear, guys. And now uh, the last rule that I have here is wait for three confirmations. Uh, these apply for like before you enter any, any trade at all, being short, being long, whatever, before you actually click the buy button or the sell button, wait for three confirmations. Confirmations means, uh, for example, uh, we have a leg going down here. So we've been going short all this time. You don't go long until you have confirmation, three confirmations. One, 
Here we have three confirmations. One is a reversal, a reversal candle here, for example. Two, you have insane uh, buying volume here. Uh, three, we have the RSA, RSI extremely oversold and it's been oversold for many days here. Uh, there you have three and what would be the other one? So we could, for example, um, that was actually probably, yeah, that was a support line as well. So here you have one more sign. And if we draw um, just a trend line here following this downtrend, you wait for this uh, for this line to be broke, to, br to break, you know, for the price to break this line. So the line would be more or less here. Okay, it was broken here for a little bit, but it, you know, it didn't uh, close above the line. It closed all the way down here. So that doesn't count as a confirmation. But then you don't enter, you know, you don't try to guess the dip and buy the perfect dip because you don't know where the dip is. You wait for confirmations. You wait for the volume to show. You wait for the other side to cross. You wait for this line to be broken and close above it. So you don't need to enter the perfect dip. You can wait a little bit and miss out uh, a percentage of the profits, but you don't enter until until the situation it's clear until you have at least three confirmations and if it's more than three then well even better but at least a minimum three uh three confirmations based on technical analysis that uh that your position the position the position that you intend to enter has a high probability uh of being a winning trade and not a losing trade but if you try to guess bottoms before you actually wait for the bounce I always, well, not I, like any professional trader, they will, uh, unless you're very, very risky, you can buy, for example, when it touches moving average, just when it's touching moving average and we expect a bounce there. Many people, risky traders will just have their order automatic there, but that's sometimes that's only one confirmation and they will win it sometimes. Uh, but I, I don't, like, I don't teach these in my, in my classes. I, I, I'm very, very conservative. I'm okay with missing out in profits, uh, but I have a lot less probability of losing trades. My losing tr my my record of uh, losing trades is very very low because of this. So wait for three confirmations based on technical analysis before you enter before you click the buy button or the sell uh, short sell button. You wait for three technical analysis confirmations. That would be. Uh, the last rule that I have for this class, guys. And there's some more rules, but this is just a, a basic a basic course for basic uh, technical analysis. So uh, more advanced uh, rules, um, especially for uh, risk management, uh, will be added uh, later on in new courses. So that's all for this class, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was clear, uh, and I will see you soon. Bye.